All right, uh, continuing my quest for playable nod decks. I really want to do Buggy Scorp. I feel like Buggy Scorp is good. Um, I mean, this deck is basically like put Rifle in. This was was like an old deck back in the day. I really want to. I don't want to cut bikes though. I want to play bikes. Uh, I was gonna play Inferno, but then I realized I have Kane. These are both providing the same role of a way to deal with predators. So actually, I don't think that makes sense. Um, so probably not Inferno. Or I play Oxana instead of Kane, Because if I take out the Inferno, I'm weak to two range, like MLRS and Giga Cannon. If I take out the Kane, then I'm weak to Predator Tank. Although I guess not with the Inferno, maybe? Mm, it could be Oxana. The problem with this is like Oxana and Inferno doesn't really beat two range that well necessarily. So maybe cutting out the Inferno entirely is reasonable. Ah, I don't know, man. It's tough. I'm gonna start with this and see see where it goes. But maybe we'll make some adjustments to the deck as we play. Uh, I'm opening buggy, aren't I? All right. And Sorgor, I think, is playing Giga Cannon. Not Giga Cannon, sorry, he's playing Chems at the moment. He was playing Giga Cannon before. Yeah, okay. It looks like he's gonna go bikes. Like maybe he goes straight into tank. That's fine, I'm heading the tank war. Like I have my tank first, and Buggy is better than Rifleman here. Wow, 80 for my buggy. That is an expensive cat missile. Maybe he thought he could get both the units with it, I don't know. Yeah, that's a super pricey cat missile. Flamers I can switch into, that's probably reasonable. Buggy Scorpio P. I always suspected that Buggy Scorpio was OP, but now I know for sure. The 80 on the cat missile was like, I mean, you couldn't afford that cat missile, that was too much. I guess he killed a boosted buggy, so it's not as bad, but yeah, you can't really spend that on the on the cat missile. Challenge battle initiated. Yeah. Well, we know we're gonna play a tank mirror. I know he opens War Factory. I wonder if I should go bike first instead of buggy. Like he opens wheels, so I think bike first is pretty reasonable. He might go straight into tank. Let's find out. Yeah, he's going straight into tank. Okay, so we'll just follow up with our own tank. And then we'll have a tank mirror. Tank 
Ready to strike. A scorpion tank reporting. Revving. Scorpion moving. Sting in the tail. We will get a brain I'm already really far behind him. Feels bad, man. I don't know if I should have gone bikes. I actually think bikes was a mistake here. Because then he'll have a, a second tank and I'll have bike, bike, tank. Yeah, this is not good. That's not where you want to be. Oh, maybe it's fine? Oh, it looks like it's not fine. It looks like it's very not fine. Yeah, I, I fucked up. I shouldn't have made the bikes. I needed to make tanks. That's how you win a tank now. Or if he was going to make an extra tank, I could have switched into laser. That was the other option. But the making the bikes, it was fine up until I made that double bike, and then that was what cost me the game. Because now that I'm behind in the tank mirror as well, it's like super difficult to get back ahead. Hmm. I might have to switch to laser. This isn't even like upside though, switching to laser. <laughs> because then he just goes flamer and then he's still ahead. Like you don't want to be the guy who switches. Oh, he has militant? Sure. Yeah, you don't want to be the guy who switches in the tank mirror. I think I'm just dead. I threw this game though. I threw this game as soon as I didn't make a tank. You literally have to make tank in the tank mirror, otherwise you just you just fall super fast. Maybe I'm okay? Let's go. Insane comeback, although not really. Because I still have to win more missiles. <laughs> he keeps making tanks even though I'm not making tanks anymore. Probably still correct from him. I literally have to play infantry game here. Because I'm so far behind in the tank mirror. What's in my air tower? Is it Inferno? It is. That would be nice to get to but doesn't seem very realistic. Actually, I have enough money for an Inferno now. Alright, I guess we're doing that. Are we going to come back? Is it going to be an epic comeback story? Kind of looks like it might be an epic comeback story. Wow, so good at the game, chat. So good at the game, insane. I can't believe I won that. <laughs> like, I think he made too many tanks. There was a bit where he made like a third tank when I had no no vehicles. I have to admit defeat though. Like, even winning the game, winning the game is not as impressive as winning the tank war. So BR is the true champion of that game. Jim Bob, alright, we know he's playing Chuggy Inferno. Uh, Chuggy Inferno's like absolute worst matchup is Buggy Tank into Buggy Tank into something that can kill air. Now I don't have the something that can kill air, but I do have the Buggy Tank, so I need to try and use Buggy Tank to shove him off of the map, basically. He's gonna go bikes, it looks like. Yeah, ah shit. I thought they were gonna spawn down there. I always get tricked on this map because this looks like the spawn point, but it's not. Or is it? Maybe I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I thought the spawn point was one lower and they'd spawn even lower than that. But I'm, I'm just wrong. But yeah, buggy tank is not what you want to play against with the deck that Jim Bob has. I need to charge the missile and then push his harvester. Because if you're the Inferno deck, you have to get to Inferno to fight the tanks. So if you're against, if you're the tank deck, you want to push a harvester 
after you clear up the uh, after you win the first missile, you want to push the harvester so they can't make it to their inferno. Yeah, okay. He knows. He's played the matchup. This is the worst case scenario if you're the Inferno deck. Establishing battlefield control. Three, two, one. New objective received. We are again. Um, I could just open tank. That actually might be the play. I think that might in fact be the play. Let's see if he accepts my duel. This is bad for me though, because he has the wheels to absorb shots. So it is definitely an advantage for him. I don't get much of an advantage. My advantage is I'm tentative closer to my second tank. That's not much. That's a pretty minimal advantage. I have to bring in bikes here. He's done the same, yeah. Oh, he's got wheels? GG, it's over. We are in shambles. Yeah, we are in shambles. It's over. The wheels were not a play he could make. He had to make bikes. I have to win this tank war to undo the shame that I brought to my family by losing the last one. Bikes didn't fire, what a joke. Oh, boo, boo, BR. I didn't actually mean to make another tank, I was gonna build a flamer. <laughs> This betrayal of all things tank was uh, not okay. I can't believe he went laser, that's so lame. I mean, I did it first, I suppose, but I thought BR was better than me. Now I find out he's the same, it's very disappointing. Like, I looked up to you, BR, and this is how you, how you betray me. Now I have to be a lame and make some lasers as well. Feels horrendous. Unit 
If he gets another Seth off, I'm in loads of trouble. Look at the sick blocking with my lasers, chat. Insane. Insane. Such good play. You see that boosted laser to block? Outrageously good play. Satisfying to drop on Giga or MLRS, maybe Orca or Stank. It's good against two range, that's definitely true. I'm never going to deny that. It's the excellent versus two range. But um, Orca, it's not really that good against. Like, it slows down the Orca volley, but the Orca still gets the volley off, and you're spending 40 to do that. That's pretty bad. Pitbull, happy to see Pitbull. Would have been very sad if he'd gone straight into Predator's tank. But Pitbull is exactly what we want to see. Now he goes missiles, but we have the buggies, that's not a problem. He retargeted onto the tank. That's weird. That's very weird, because now he hasn't killed my buggy at all. I guess he's just trying to remove the tank so that he can use his pit bull. But now he's trying to kill the buggy with the pit bull. Yo, pick a lane, master. Are you trying to kill my buggy or my tank? Is he going Orca? That would be awkward. That would be Orca would. No. Still trying to kill the tank. He can't get through because I've created this line here. On this map, it's very difficult to micro a unit where you want it if someone creates a line like this. Because every time you order your unit to go down, it's sort of like most people order their units to go through. That's like the standard ordering procedure. And when you try and go through, instead, what happens is your unit tries to go around the top. It's a very specific thing on this map. Like, you'll hear people complaining about the pathfinding on this map more than any other because they don't understand the pathfinding that well. Like, if you create this wall, then units will automatically try and go around the top because that's the only legal route for them. And yeah, you get people like being like, oh, the pathfinding's trash. It's like, not the pathfinding, it's that, like, pathfinding is taking the only available route. It just so happens the only available route is, is down, is, is over the top. Uh, I don't really like this Inferno. Quasar says I should change the Inferno. I think that's probably true. I think the Inferno is not great. Maybe I should switch it for, for like Banshee or Phantom. Banshee might be okay. He just accidentally walked himself into the 2v1 or 2 for 1. That's fucking awkward, mate. Get laid down here. Alright, GG. This, this buggy tank deck has felt like the best deck so far, honestly. But it feels, it always feels like you're like really awkward with the buggies and tanks. You have to play them really well, otherwise you fall behind because they're so expensive. Oh, ECH. There isn't much Giga. Like, there might not be much Giga, but it's still, it's still offensive to lose to it. Is he back on his no-half MG? Like, you say MG incoming dies, which is what I'd expect as well, but last time I played him, he didn't do MG. Like, obviously, he normally plays MG, but the last time we... Okay, he has MG this time. Last time I played him, he wasn't MG, and I was shocked. Shocked, I says. Now, obviously, no-half MG is not great against buggy tank, in my experience. How many buggies am I supposed to make? He's made two missiles, maybe a third buggy. The important thing is just to not... Lose all your units to the MG before you're ready to move in. I could move these two in, but I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, I'm going to try it. I think it's probably bad, though. Yeah, I think it was bad. This is like what you should not do against no half MG. Is commit your forces on the first missile and then lose a bunch of stuff. 
I just wanted to see what would happen if I did it, and the answer was, as predicted, I get crushed. So yeah, a real bad idea. That is the absolute last thing you should do against no half MG. Now, how many? How are we going to do this? Gonna make another MG. That's a, that's a problem. That is a big problem. If he gets another MG down, I think I'm dead. Okay, I think I'm dead. I think I threw this game though. I definitely threw this game. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I can still win. If I crack both the MGs, that's gonna be a good start. Can't afford anything though. Shit, I think I lost it. Oh, he's let me on the pad? Alright, GG. GG, CH, Main to blank. Don't know why he let me on the pads like that. But now he's dead. The problem with ECH is he just keeps playing. Like, he's dead. There's no way he ever comes back now. And yet he will just play this game out. He'll just make like a thousand dogs and play the game out in the hopes that somehow the dogs get there. Why you don't concede, bro? Oh, I forgot I had Kane. I just saw the obelisk light up. I could have just caned his uh, his MG. Yeah, I almost threw this game by with the push at the start. That was a mistake. You shouldn't do that against no half MG. I'm gonna get some flamers. Alright, close game. Actually was kind of a close game. Boosted Banshee is decent against Giga. Yeah, but maybe, but like most Gigas have lasers with them, right? And a boosted Banshee dies in like three laser hits. So I find it's quite difficult to push in. Establishing battlefield control. Agi. I believe Agi is a... Well, he used to be a Giga player, I think. Probably not anymore. Not if he's playing Seth, but who knows. Well, I mean, either it works or it doesn't, Angles. <laughs> like, either Chems with Jade is a reliable solution to Giga or it's not. I don't think there's... It can't be not 100%, but it works. Like, either it works or it doesn't. I personally believe it doesn't work. I think that people can move their Giga one tile away from the cloud that went before the missile hits, and therefore it's not a viable strategy. It depends on skill and map. Yeah, see, I'm not interested in being able to beat bad Giga players. That's not what I'm looking for from my solutions. I can probably beat the bad Giga players by just playing the game normally. What I'm looking for is a reliable answer to Giga Cannon. So that I don't just lose to players playing Giga Cannon. Plus, I then have to play Chems as well, which is another downside. So it doesn't sound good to me. He is playing Giga for a nightmare. Like, something I don't want to add to my deck is the need to play Chem Warrior over Flamer, because that seems much worse. I'm not even sure, the problem is I'm not even sure I can beat bad Giga players with this deck. Like I feel like I'm definitely going to lose this game. I just don't think Banshee, I just don't think you can beat two range with, with Banshee, that's not really a viable solution. Oh, 
Like, what is the answer to Giga Cannon, Laser, Laser? If you're trying to use Banshees. Especially if they add Chem Buggy in, then it gets real awkward. Maybe it'll be fine, I don't know. This doesn't feel great, you know, like I want I want a solution that means it doesn't feel bad. And that feels it seems very difficult to find one. All the solutions feel terrible. Fuck. This is a bad Giga map as well. Like, this would never work on a good Giga map. He also is playing Seth with his Giga Cannon, which is wild. It's still difficult to get through. I think Banshee's doing well in this game, you know what, I will admit. Banshees have done excellently in this game, it's hard to argue that. Although he was also playing Venom, so the Banshee was even better than it would be normally. <laughs> So yeah, the Banshee was good there. You are victorious. Right. Three, two, one. New objective received. Tiberium is calling. Building online. Unit ready. You say so. Fiction for a fight. All right, let's go. So we've got ourselves another tank mirror. Oh, that was a mistake. Fuck. Fuck's sake. All right, we did manage to get a sneaky shot on his tank, though. Oh, two shots. Let's go. Three shots. All right, nice. We redeemed ourselves in that tank mirror after a big throw at the start and letting him get a free shot on my buggy. Alright, these. Peace first missile. Let's go flamers. We don't wanna have to be buggy the whole time. We hate this matchup with buggy opening. What wheel tank? I think it's fine. Buggy is like maybe slightly worse than the wheel, but it's not it's not like oppressively bad. You also have the option to go into laser, which the opponent doesn't really, because your buggies exist, and buggies are better. The buggies will fuck up the lasers. Mm, that boost isn't going to save you. Yeah, the boost actually meant his tank died in one hit, where it would have taken two. Objective complete. Field control. Takimi. Three, two, one. New objective. 
I used to like this guy, but then he pot capped me and then uh, aggro GG'd me. <laughs> and then like flex shared it everywhere. And I was like, okay, cool guy. So now I am less enamored with him. I have not tried the Wool World DLC yet. You saw strong complaints, really. That's, um... What's wrong with it? Do you have any idea? Mutant second unit is pretty unusual. Does that mean he's going to go Chuggy next? Buggy, interesting. I'll do some buggy on buggy crime. Until I can get my tank out. Normally I wouldn't emote people, but pop capped, shared, flex shared, you need me. <laughs> the rules are different. <laughs> This obelisk is maybe a little too early, honestly. Right, the obelisk ended up being pretty good actually. Mission accomplished. Establishing battlefield control. Three, two, one. New objective received. For the crystals. So we're currently 9-0 with Buggy Scorp deck. Maybe this is maybe this is the meta. I genuinely like no like no 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 cap. I genuinely think that Buggy Scorp is really good. I think Buggy is legit right now. I don't really want to make another buggy. Oh, was he moving in? I thought he was gonna walk in and get 2v1. Ah, uh, I did not mean to make that laser. I was trying to open my barracks and make a flamer. That is a feels bad man. Alright, well, this comes easy. I'm gonna go for my harvester, I assume. No? What a wild. Oh, here we go. There we go. Thank God for that. For a second, I thought our opponent had, you know, wisely considered his options. But that is, of course, not the case. I don't really care about this shock trooper. I want to get my flamer on these missiles. I care way more about that than the random shock trooper. Well, this is a dumb game. <laughs> oh shit. 
Kane is not very high impact on this map. I guess I'll do a Kane just to kill these uh, these missile troopers. Maybe I should have just been making buggies. I actually think buggy looks like it would have been pretty well positioned against everything he was making. Yeah, I just went 10-0 with the buggy scorp deck. Um, that's pretty good. I think maybe maybe this is. I'm gonna try out more buggy scorp. I'll continue practicing with this, I think. But we'll uh, we'll see where it goes. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the buggy scorp, and I will see you next time.